Welcome to Gear Talk. This is Annie. I'm Chip. Poof. I'm nervous. I'm still nervous, even though I'm done. You're not even driving and anymore. I'm, I'm Brooke. <laughs> now the order's all messed up. Yeah. What happened? And I'm Chris. <laughs> Welcome to Gear Talk. Welcome to Gear Talk. Thanks for letting Swimmer and Labs introduce the show, guys. Yeah. We'll we always we always ask you at the last time. minute, so... You know, it's kind of a joke, but it's also cool that you guys did it. So welcome, everybody. This week, we are talking about the new Synergy. New is an N-E-W. N-E-W this week. Synergy Swim Run Wetsuit. That's the name of it. It's their brand new entry-level wetsuit. And yeah, we all got them. Synergy was cool enough to send us four pair. Big one thanks. for each of us. Yes, and thanks, Synergy. Yeah, we're looking forward to doing a full review. But first, <laughs> does anybody have any gear updates? I think we all have regular updates about the Corp, the Arc Corp swim room. What's oh, Let's hear them. Let's hear it. I had my first swim in the Corp. Ooh. I got a Corp also, which yeah. allowed me to then have my first swim in it. And I have only good things to say so far. I haven't taken it for a swim run. I took it for a swim in the ocean. Um, pretty chilly water temp still. It kept me so much warmer than no wetsuit, which is kind mm-hmm. of what I'm comparing it to right now. Mm-hmm. And I did not experience the infamous kidney lower back water leak. pocket. Interesting. Yeah. Oh. So I've I've only taken it out on one swim, but I I was out there for 45 minutes and swimming the whole time. No water. And you pocket. didn't get any water like through the arms or the no. neck or anything. I didn't feel any pooling of water in my suit. I did you feel any air bubbles in your back? Nope. Okay. I felt like it fit. That's awesome. Yeah. And so just for reference, I am five four, one thirty pounds, size extra small, mm-hmm. and it worked well. And that's my typical wetsuit size for arc products. Gotcha. But that was just one swim, so to be continued. Well, yeah, I, will con- I will definitely continue using it. I'm oh, and also the arm. <laughs> People in the past had mentioned that the cuffs of the arms are super tight and can kind of like constrict you if you've got really swole biceps. And I would like to report that our theory was correct. The cuffs on the biceps fit me great. <laughs> they do not squeeze me too hard. Did you Wonderful. did you use the accompanying arm sleeves? I did not. So okay. I will next time. Well, I have a... How long was the swim? I'm just curious. How long were you in the water um, for, did you say? I I like swam with purpose for 35 minutes and I kind of bobbed around and did other stuff for about 10. So I was in the water for 45. And this was like 55 degree? It's probably low 50s. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Nice. It's impressive. Well, I have I have a bit of follow up on the Art Corp as well. I know we mentioned in both of our early kind of testings and even some early swim runs, everyone was kind of experiencing the lower back water situation, air pocket situation. Chris and I have been doing uh, our pools close, so we've been having to go and do more uh, open water swim runs during the week. So we've been really getting out there and and, and getting some swim runs in. But I in my last two swim runs with the corp i have not experienced this leaky lower back water situation so something maybe the suit's broken in or maybe it's i don't know maybe it's like the um astrological sign change or something the lunar the lunar eclipse potentially yeah like what's changed like it's pulled on the the tides in a way is that why Mm -hmm. yep (laughs) it's like like Aaron Marsh has checked into the chat. <laughs> Shout out. She's entered entered the chat. Um and I actually used the arm sleeves with the Synergy swim run wetsuit as well and they worked oh. very well for me. I had them. I don't Chris, do you feel like I have exceptionally large guns? No. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, did you stop and think about that at oh, all? Wait, Chris? Did, 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 you, did you finish your question? No, uh, I, I think <laughs> the answer has been has been received. <laughs> so I feel I have you know somewhat average arms, uh, and the sleeves fit me great on whatever they came with the arc corp and they're they're universal they work across other swimmer and wetsuits of as yep. to be expected here's a little pro tip on that you got to make sure you pull them up enough so i have mm-hmm. an issue where i feel like my wrists have been getting cold so i've been trying to keep the arm sleeves like as low as possible to kind of cover my wrists and um if you get even a little bit of separation between the arms between the sleeves and the arms um the, you know this the, the the cuff, sense. the cuff, and the and the arm sleeve, and the arm yeah. sleeves, and you got some water in there. You're essentially Ooh, yep. you're hosed. Yeah, you're doing like the hook, the hook swim because you're you know pretty much comes all the way down once you get water inside. Oh. It's pretty annoying. Yeah. So yeah, just a little pro tip: make sure you're pulling that up to make sure but it's really under the cuff. You took them off, and I was able to easily stash them in your back zipper. That's true. <laughs> so we tested out the partner using your rear yeah. zipper situation. The partner. <laughs> good thing you added zipper okay. to that mm-hmm. sentence. Yes, good yeah. thing. Anyway. So, uh, <laughs> moving on, um, speaking of rears, my update is I tried the Synergy wetsuit on a Sunday. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that okay. means. Yeah. This is about swim run, swim run, der wear. Or swim lack run thereof. Wear. Or not. Yes. Yeah. Or, yes. Yeah. Synergy as your swim run wear. And um, I just wanted to give it a go, and I am not a taker. I You're think that will be not a fan. <laughs> not a fan. It basically, without giving too much information, just felt like I had a giant camel toe the entire time, <laughs> and I was just constantly pulling at my crotch. So yeah. yeah, I might try it in the corp because the runner plus is a little uh-huh. is quite a bit thinner. Um. Don't worry, Trista. I will not try it in the corp that you just sent me. <laughs> Shout out, Trista. I'll be sure to wear a layer there. Um, but yeah, I, Chris, I can't, I can't join you. It's okay in that endeavor. It's, uh, but it's I give not you, for everybody. Yeah, it's. Not I mean, I have sort of a, have a lifetime of free balling, so it's. You yeah, know, to yeah. Me it's, I did like the minimalist yeah. approach of it, though. I liked it when I changed by the car that I could just like oh, strip yeah, out. Totally. I was like ready to go. You know. Yeah. Oh, we have a. Another gear update, we got the summer smocks from our good friends over at Smock Smock. Yeah. Kind enough to send over their eco-friendly line of bamboo, lightweight bamboo summer smocks. I have been wearing my goldenrod color with pride around. I will say it's perfect here in California. The 40, 30 degree mornings are gone at the pool. So it's, it's uh, 50 degrees or so. And it's nice. I just literally have my shorts and I pull it over my swimsuit, throw on this giant towel with the hood. And I just jump right yes. back in Chris's car, ready to go, get home, pop that thing off. I'm ready to jump in the shower. It's, yeah. I highly recommend getting yourself a, like a summer smock situation. Yeah, they're, So they're I got cool. one uh, a few years ago off of Etsy from... I'll have to look at the brand, but I think it's like Surf Co. And it's a big towel dress. And it's a big, I call it my pineapple dress. And it's like famous around the pool. It's bright pink with like blue pineapples all over it. You're a and real celebrity at this pool, I've noticed. I know. I, I feel like I Brooke know. is a celebrity everywhere. You've got kettlebells. <laughs> you got carbon fiber paddles. You have pineapple changing changing dresses. But yeah, the summer smock is is uh, the way to go for sure. It's like the I live in it in the summertime, especially in Spokane because it gets pretty darn hot here yeah yeah that's cool so i have uh are we done with gear updates yeah i guess we are yeah, Chris. i think so i have i have an oh, untethered you. thought that was provided to us by amy bush mm-hmm. friend of the show part of uh, team adorkable and she asked <laughs> uh should we change the name of the show to the low tide toys <laughs> <laughs> what is he? What is he? <laughs> Could be an alternate. Whoa, name. good question, Amy. It's got <laughs> so, a good ring to it. It does have a good ring to it, but I think that you know I've been thinking about it because I do think it's funny, but it doesn't adequately reflect the fact that this is a partnership between the Low Tide Boys and the Swimrun Labs. I yeah. think there would have to be something else in there 
like the word labs mm. or something to really mm-hmm. all right a... this the search well, for the holy grail yeah. continues yeah we'll unless oh and i appreciate that it that you that swim run labs cannot be described as toys <laughs> no only that science. would be the only way yeah that, that name only like lab coats and sciencey you know icon iconography i think that's a really good name though it has yeah. great really alliteration funny. on it yeah sure Maybe like um, you know, low tide toys lab. <laughs> low tide lab toys well, and a graduated have... cylinder could be our logo. <laughs> oh wait, I think a graduated Ooh. cylinder is our logo. Wait, is it? No. Like a like a beaker. Like type a beaker. Thing. A yeah. beaker. Yeah, a beaker. Well, anyway, we'll, thank we'll you. workshop this at another point. <laughs> thank you, Amy, for that uh, untethered. Yeah, Amy, thought. that's that awesome. I really appreciate it. Um, should we'll we just start talking in. about this thing? Yeah. Any more yes, untethered thoughts? Send, send them over. Low tie boys at gmail.com. But let's get into the, the tofu and potatoes, as it's known. <laughs> yeah. Is that a phrase? I don't house. think anyone, I don't think it's known like that anywhere okay. except for like LA. I'll strike it oh. for the right. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So, Synergy, again, we mentioned at the top, they were super cool about offering to send us suits um, so we could try them out. They're also super cool about, when I told them, it was like, hey, we're, our feedback is going to be our feedback and we're not guaranteeing anything. We're, we're super stoked. You can't stoked. buy our love. Yeah, we're super stoked that you sent this to us, but we're going to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, so so on that, we got to, I think we both have used the suits. I mean, every everyone here has used the suits. Um, I think, Chipper, you did two swimming practices in it. I've done one. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I mean, I have a pretty well-formed opinion, but why don't we start talking about kind of like the, you know. Sure, the stats of it. So we it also like. put out a first impressions overview video on our YouTube channel. So head on over to YouTube and, and check that out on the Low Tide Boys channel. You can see a lot of the things that we're talking about as well. Uh, but the Synergy wetsuit uh, comes in at $200, a yeah. excellent entry-level price has three total accessible pockets, one vertical zip, large back in the back, which can fit, I would say, you could probably fit your paddles back there. It's large enough. It's pretty big. And then there's two kind of smaller pou- pou- uh, pouches, I guess, is, is the best way to describe them, in the front, kind of near your core area. Three millimeter neoprene on the front and back with two millimeter non-smooth skin neoprene that kind of runs on the basically from your lower back down your butt and down the legs, and then they have kind of a bonded um, armband uh, there with a whistle zip pull. Yep. And that's the that's the general stats. Men's and women's sizes, small to double XL. Women's just goes to XL. Thank you for the correction. <laughs> yeah. So so this suit, you know, it's black. It's it's stealthy very, looking. Very stealthy looking. Um, we know because somebody told us who you guys will all hear about later at some point on our, on our main, Ooh. on our main, uh, Ooh. podcast show, Ooh. but there was a lot of RD that went into the suit and they're also working on, uh, like an elite suit, but you typically they, they do elite stuff first, but in this case they, they went with, with the entry level first. So, so I it, love them for that already. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. So I think when we're talking about head to head, comparisons chipper and i were thinking that that the blue 70 alliance swimmer and wetsuit is the one that's most comparable in terms of price point and just kind of like entry levelness not not taking into account yes the orca yeah orca core the orca core would be another one but but we're we're not including the corp because that's just you know that thing is that's twice. only a comparable price point at a 50 percent discount right yeah like yes. black friday or something because the corp <laughs> comes in at three hundred ten dollars us and the the blue 70 swim run alliance is 260 dollars yeah and the so, orca core is about 200 now let's see 199 199 so very yeah. very okay. similar to what the synergy comes in at so let's let's start with a swim on this and i'll i'll kick it off i guess upon first inspection i was seriously concerned about the sort of collar area i it just looked like a it was going to be a chafe monster on me i'm yeah. extremely happy to report that is not the case 
the monster did not the attack. monster did not attack and i didn't even uh totally lube up to normal lube levels um and i felt that my i know chris was talking a little bit about sizing and when i was testing this i was on i got a large suit i'm six foot 185 we'll call it and that puts me at the upper end of the large range so i probably could have could have even gotten away with an extra large suit but i felt uh really good i had no real shoulder mobility issues in the swim i thought the flotation was really good i didn't get any leaking overall uh from the swim point of view i was i was pretty impressed yeah i, I Go for it. I would like to hear what Brooke has to say. <laughs> <laughs> um, I also was worried about the the neckline when I just put it on dry. It felt a little choky for me. Um, like it comes up a little high. And but on the mm. swim, you're right. Like I didn't get any chafing. I didn't get um oh, I take that back. I I didn't get any water entry through the neck. I got a lot of water entry through the arms, like immediately. Um, and so I had water kind of all throughout the wetsuit on the swim, but the shoulders felt pretty good. I think they felt a little stiff, but I think that's because I've been Been using the corp. Yeah. And so comparatively, it just felt a little stiff, but I think if I were to compare it to my Orca core, it, it would be comparable. And, um, the water temp that I, that I used it in was 60 degrees, Fahrenheit and it was um plenty warm for that without the sleeves. Um yeah, and I just for fit, I am five six, 140, and I got a medium. And I think the fit is is appropriate for me. Brooke, was the water in the suit, did you feel like it was flushing through the suit I as did. you swam? Yeah. Like coming in and coming out. Man. Yeah, it was a lot of water. Um like much more than than what I've had in the Orca core or the Arc Corp. Um so it wasn't my it wasn't my favorite suit for swimming. Interesting. Did did the arms feel loose? I actually kind of felt that the, the arm bands were pretty good tight. in terms yeah, not like tight or as bothersome, but I felt they were snug, like a right amount of snugness on my Yeah, no, they felt snug, guns. but like as soon as I like my the first stroke I took like, and I, and I was trying to figure out as I was swimming, I was like, where is this water coming in from? Cause, um, the neck was actually pretty tight, you know, and I, I almost felt like it was like a little, a little too tight for, or it comes up a little too high for my taste, but it wasn't coming in through the neck. It was coming in through the, through the arms. So, hmm. and I have, I don't have small arms. Um, this might be a good segue for me to speak to my, I do have small arms yeah, and I felt like the like appropriate snugness, like you said, chipper. Like I, I felt like I, I had a good fit on the armband. It wasn't loose whatsoever. It was like, I couldn't have had much bigger arms almost, but for me, it was great. Um, Did you have the water issues? I didn't have the water issues. I felt like the fit was spot on. And that said, the way that wetsuits typically fit me and how I interpret size charts, like, I think I said this earlier, I'm like, just shy of 5'4 and somewhere between 125 and 130 usually for weight. And I usually get an extra small or small in swim run wetsuits. And I'm actually looking at the size chart now for the Synergy wetsuit. And I'm I'm not quite as much on the high end of my size like you were, Chipper, but I'm on the higher end. Like I'm a larger person mm-hmm. within the range that the small specifies. And I I felt like I had extra room in there. I could have been bigger and it would have still fit okay. So I almost wonder, Brooke, or I wonder if these suits are slightly large. For, run, run large. Yeah, because yeah. it's interesting actually looking at a size chart. I'm on the larger end of the medium as well. Because I, I did the- not feel like it was a super tight fit. I felt like yeah. it was a really functional fit for me. And I, I could take deep breaths. I could exert myself and not feel constricted. I didn't get any, I had no water problems. I I felt like the swim was great. No complaints. Oh, except this might just be user error. I forgot to lube my neck 
and I definitely needed to lube my neck. For me, there was a seam on the, I guess it was, it was the left side of the neck, um, a seam on the left side of the collar that yep. looked like it had been kind of extra reinforced with a bar tack, like a thick area of stitching uh-huh. that kept it from unraveling, but did oh, chase I me. Oh, I see that. Yeah, that I'm is, looking at that right now. Yeah, that's the placard. Yeah. So uh, it's, I don't think yeah. that the collar is going to come unraveled, but it kind of ate my neck. I totally see where that happened. I'm, I literally am holding the suit now and I, I see exactly what you're talking about. Uh, but that didn't happen I, for you guys, no. huh? But we, I lubed up. Yeah. I mean, I think that was just silly. I should I, have lubed. I, I actually have a little bit of an amendment to my thing and then we can get to you, Chris. I'm sorry. Uh, the the Velcro portion of where you're st- sticking the, the wetsuit, I feel you really got to land it perfectly yes. to get yeah. it in there. And I ha- I do remember when we were swimming and I, I thought, because I'm used to, I guess, arc suits and they have a bigger, we'll just call it landing strip for the Velcro, for the hook and, what's it called? Hook and loop and hook. Velcro. The hook side. Yeah. And so this one, I actually kind of just, stuck it up where I knew that there's Velcro, but I didn't, I wasn't very intentional about it and I didn't spend additional seconds and it came undone during the swim. My flap came undone and I started getting Marcus Martin vibes on taking a lot of water in on the front. <laughs> Shout out Marcus. Shout out Marcus uh, there. But um, yeah, so that's one area that I think like if they could have made it another two inches wider and inch taller with the the receiving end of the Velcro part would have been would have been perfect. So you don't have to be so precise when you're trying to cab back up or, or Mm -hmm. re or re or reattach. But Mm -hmm. I am now just holding in my hands, a piece of the wetsuit that I removed and discarded and now might actually put to use based on what you're saying, Chip. So, and I think this just has to do with like how they shipped and stored the wetsuits to minimize damage to the suit. But like the hook side of the Velcro comes with a, the with cover. like another side yes. of Velcro stuck to that it. That thing is awesome. Yeah. So maybe we should just glue that to the landing strip with Aqua Seal. I mean, it's a DIY aftermarket. That's some serious mod. surgery. Or maybe Synergy should consider it's widening the landing strip. <laughs> yeah. Chris, what were your thoughts? Chris, on what are your sweat? thoughts? Well, I mean, so I, to be honest, I was very skeptical of this suit going in. I was like, I can't believe that this is a brand new suit and it kind of looks like it has G1 tech in it. Um, Just from the photos, you know, as soon as it arrived, I was super stoked to get it. So I put it on right away and I was pleasantly surprised just from like a right out of the box putting it on. I was like, wow, this actually seems like something that could really be functional and again, trying to keep in mind the price point and not comparing it to arc suits or even, um, you know, the head my boost suit, um, which I consider like a mid-range suit because it has neoprene on the lower legs at this point. Um, yeah, I mean, in the water, I thought it was great. I was a little worried about shoulder mobility. wasn't a problem. I didn't have sort of the neck problems, but I, I'm always really careful since mm-hmm. I've been using the corp to just make sure I have that lined up so I don't get feel choky. Um, I didn't have any water issues. Um, I wore arm sleeves underneath and it was fine. And yeah, I mean, as far as fit, you know, on the size chart, you know, I say I'm the most most medium person in the world, but it's, you know, I'm 5'10", 5'11", six foot with heels on, um, you know, 165. (laughs) So right, basically right in the middle of their medium. Um, And the suit felt snug, but I'm okay with snug. Uh, But I I still kind of want to try chippers just to kind of see how that if the fit is a little bit looser, but then I'm also worried maybe that'll get water in there, but it was snug, but maybe you could try chippers and then let us know if you get water in there. Yeah. And then that would help me solve your problem. Cause I have another fit issue. So I'm going back to what Annie was saying. I think you're right, Annie. I think these run larger for women. They Mm -hmm. all, they also have on their website, they all have six additional sizing guidance bullet points about use the weight to determine your size. Mm-hmm. If you have longer legs and a shorter torso, subtract this and add this. If you have long legs or big chest or add seven pounds to your oh. weight. So there's a lot of, uh, you know, get your TI 83 plus out from algebra two in high school. <laughs> and you got to do a couple of calculations on this thing, yeah. but uh, yeah, there could be, a, there could be a little much thing. appreciated though. Those nuances. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's cool. And it's well thought legit. out. I mean, for the, for the price point, this is a great entry level swim 
what, swim run wetsuit for swimming. I think that it's plenty warm, maybe a little too warm to get, but most swimming races are going to be super cold anyway at some point. Yeah. If not the whole time. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I thought it was the buoyancy was great. Mm-hmm. The zipper, which is a little bit thick on the chest, wasn't, you know, wasn't annoying in any way. And yeah, I mean, I think for, again, for the price point, I thought as far as a swim run swimming wetsuit, it was fine. Yeah. So let's talk about the run. Let's transition over to the run. Or should we oh, transition to transition? Ooh, sure. So let's just transition. So we're getting out of the water. We're getting out of the water. We're putting our pool buoy on the backside, depending on what lasso or flying V mount that you use. And uh, again, I had no problems transitioning out. I thought the zipper is a very sturdy zipper. It wasn't like, oh, I'm going to bust this thing off uh, when I yank it down to get some air on the boiler real quick. Uh, the and a col- smooth glide, too. Yeah, yeah, it did. It had a good... I thought it was just like a nice, smooth zipper. Very good zipping action on it. And, <laughs> it um, zips. It zips. <laughs> yeah, and I, I had no... Also, it's long enough. Like, it, it extends low enough on the abdomen that cabbing down is... Not oh, I was going to say the be. opposite. Oh, I interrupted. So, okay. Back it up. Back it up. Interesting. Like, I I feel um, the zipper was short, but I like that because then it doesn't get caught up in your um, your your waist belt junk. Your waist belt for, yeah, your pull your buoy. Your tether or your, or your pull buoy situation. Yeah, it yeah. stays above that because, Annie, you know how many, how many times have we gone <laughs> into transition yeah. and my zipper will be below and I go to pull it up and... Mm-hmm. That Everything happens to me too. The way, and then I'm diving in with like a wide open wetsuit, just like <laughs> taking on water. <laughs> um, so I really liked that mine sit like almost at my belly button or like my true waist. And then um, my belt was a little, my pull buoy is a little bit below that. And then uh, any other, anything to add, Annie and Chris? No, I mean, it's fine transitioning. Transitioning yeah, back into I the water? I tried... I tried cabbing down and cabbing back up by myself, and that was possible, which is sometimes it's not possible. So that's a good yes element. It was not possible for me, but I've never actually been able to. The only suit I've been able to cab down in by myself and with great effort is the arc, like something really thin. So I think it's just my shoulder mobility. I don't think I'm normal. Um, but I, I had one more thing on transition, and this kind of has to do with the like getting a lot of water in my suit for the swim Mm -hmm. i felt like on the as i was transitioning i felt like i was carrying some water with me yeah Mm. and it and it was kind of just slowly leaking out in the first like quarter half mile of the run um but again i'm kind of starting to think there's like a maybe a sizing thing me and my my sizings are all off on the wetsuits i guess yeah which is a pro tip for everyone out there you know get it dialed Get, Note get the bullet dial. points. You gotta, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta get that dialed. Ask for additional totally. sizing guidance if necessary. Yeah. Uh, and then zipping back up, as Brooke mentioned, good action. No, I like the, I thought the zipper pull with the whistle was uh, very sturdy. No issues there. I it zipped up just, just fine. I had no. Ooh, are we going to do a whistle test? Oh, I can't. Let's we have it. to. Do Let's you guys do have it. the whistle? I yes. got it right here. I, ready? I have People. the whistle. Are we comparing it? Um, Whoa! Let the record was that reflect. your whistle? Uh, let the record reflect. It's the same whistle that's on the the head. My boost wetsuit. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounded style. almost like a dog whistle. That sounded like a whistle that I would hear from far away, potentially, if I was a safety personnel. Well, works as go. advertised. Well, great. I'm glad you remembered the whistle test. I yeah, that was good. That that's was a way back machine. I wish. Are the dogs would... storming your home yet? No, not yet. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> my dog's looking down. at my headphones right now. Down he heard Cujo. it his headphones. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's take it into the run here. So who wants to kick that off? Me. Go for let's it. Let's go for it. Pleasantly surprised is the theme of my response to this wetsuit. Oh, my gosh. I When I unboxed it and held it in my hands, I was like, mm, this thing kind of feels stiff. Yep. I don't know. (laughs) Wow. Like exactly what you said, Chris, I was like, oh, interesting. It has laminated smooth skin neoprene along the whole front. It's got 
three millimeter neoprene on the fronts of the thighs, there's like no engineering to try to eliminate the resistance that that is going to throw into somebody's running gait. Mm -hmm. And I, I was super skeptical and I did not, I was so surprised that I didn't feel restricted by that thicker neoprene Mm -hmm. when I was running. It was amazing. And I got to say like, that is pretty brilliant R and D because it was thick enough to add buoyancy and warmth in the swim durability to look old school enough that I was like, no way, Jose, that's never going to work out. And actually to be very comfortable to run in. Yeah. So let me just jump in there and piggyback 100%. Like I was super skeptical. I was like, man, I can't believe, you know, this, this isn't the latest innovation. You should start from there at least. Um, And yeah, you know, I think for, again, for an entry level suit where maybe you're not into just going from A to B as quickly as possible and you're maybe not used to cold weather or cold water because you're just starting out in the sport. Um, Having extra neoprene and buoyancy is really helpful. And I was really worried that it was just going to be like a Gen 1 kind of running experience. Mm -hmm. It really wasn't. I actually even compared it to the Blue 70 Alliance, which also has that same design of thicker Mm -hmm. neoprene all the way down the front. And because I thought maybe I was just getting forgetful or my bar was lower and it was worlds different than that feel. Yeah, I I thought it was like unrestricted, like surprisingly unrestricting on the run. I felt very comfortable on the run. Um, f- for me, and maybe it's just like my body shape. It was a little bit bulky, like in the low belly and in the crotch area, like and in the hip creases. So mm-hmm. I just had kind of like a ex- a lot of extra neoprene rolls down there. So I think this is all going back to my <laughs> sizing <laughs> issue. Um, but I'm it's but. Something. You- what I'm sensing that a yeah theme? if you have rolls if you got rolls in your wetsuit yeah well when I put it on dry it sits great it actually looks really I actually praise it for its looks because I thought it looks great when it's like dry so if you're just like hanging out at a swim run race in your yeah, swim run wetsuit cool. this one yeah yeah this one looks good but um yeah it was um and again even though even with all their additional sizing guidance I am definitely a medium um mm. I think I would go for a small because just the theme of, of everything that I've talked about today. But, but that being said, um, it, wasn't, it wasn't too hot, even with all that extra neoprene on the run. And it was about a 54 to 60 degrees Fahrenheit day when I was running. And, and I did some longer runs, and it, it felt great. Um, and it didn't feel restricting. It felt kind of loosey-goosey, actually. <laughs> Nice. That's just because it was Sunday. <laughs> yeah, that might be. That might have that too. Too. Yeah, maybe it was the fact that I wasn't wearing underwear that it just added all this extra space in my suit. I mean, what kind of underwear? Yeah, are you what do we got? <laughs> sort of like... Wool, like three inch thick wool. Yeah. It's like Nordic, you got a petticoat Nordic on under there? Winter. What's going on? <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to get a petticoat reference, but there it was. No, there's people that listen okay. that are over 60. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, same thing with, with, with everyone else, what they were saying. I mean, I opened this thing out of the box and I'm like, I am going to cook like a goose in this thing on the run (laughs) because it seemed really thick and it being black and everything. I was like, I'm going to, it's going to cook me. And just the same as everybody else, I was way pleasantly surprised by the performance on the run. They obviously have the paneling figured out on the backside to kind of not make your hips and and everything get really smoked during the run. I felt that was a big issue um, that I had thinking back to the testing of the blue 70 Alliance was just on after any amount of run after, you know, five, five minutes or so your, your, the, your hips would feel like they were doing way too much work to kind of battle the thickness of the suit. And I didn't get any of that here. Um, I had a little bit, of I felt like my the legs were riding up a little bit, but I I would say if Chris doesn't like my guns, I think I do have more tree trunk style uh, legs on the side. So I maybe li- I didn't say I didn't like them. Oh, you just oh they just yeah they weren't. The question. That, okay, that's, that's fair. I was doing that is fair. Uh, <laughs> so I I had a little bit of riding up, maybe like an inch or two, but nothing that made it super uncomfortable uh, there. But. Yeah, I mean, I was I was really happy with with the run performance. I didn't cab down 
um, during a run, but I, I had it zipped open as a, as I normally would during, during a race. I Did you have the experience of like the neck flap hitting you in the face, in the chin with it zipped open? You know what? I don't remember, but probably. And I also had, I have the issue that you have with the zipper. If it's all the way down, I hate the whistle part when it is constantly swinging back and forth and hitting against you and making noise. Uh Uh, there, here comes the chipper's uh, neurotic area coming out as usual during the review, but the constant ticking of the zipper when you're running up and down against your wetsuit bothers me. Yeah. Apparently me too. to no yeah, me too. end. Um, and we're I, all, we're all a little we're all, neurotic. We're all a little neurotic. <laughs> yeah. I, I did feel like the pockets in the front. I mean, I, I, I always use the arc kangaroo kind of undershirt, but the pockets in the front, I never, I feel like anything you put in there because they were, there was no flap or anything yeah, like it, stuff down, would just be you, moving all over and yeah, internally. Yeah, if you cab down, yeah, that's it's that's gone. They were it was all yeah, the they're not right particularly there. they're not particularly taut either. So I don't. Yeah, I think yeah. even gels would fall out. Right, and they're also a little deep. So the head, my boost wetsuit has the same thing. It has just a couple pockets in the front because it's easy to just throw on like a flap of material right. there. And a couple extra the pockets are and... actually pretty deep. So if you're really trying to reach in there, you got to do like the two finger chopstick kind of like reach okay. down and grab them. So in a race, if it's cold, you know that might be a little tough. <laughs> a little <laughs> tough to you know got like a like a lobster claw trying to grab something <laughs> there. Yeah, that was. I like did like the sport. pocket in the back though. I tried um, pulling stuff in and out of that yep. in transition and on the run, and I felt like it was. Super easy to access, um, even with my pull buoy back there. Yeah, I could the reach side, my hand which all the sense. way into the depths of it, so nothing was getting like lost in the abyss. Um, so I thought it was like a really solid, solid back pocket. Yep, it is. Like Chris said, it's on. It's more. It's about two thirds of the way on the right side. So if you're left hand dominant, um, better get used work, to using your right hand. Work your, <laughs> your dexterity. Yeah, your yeah, partner. Or yeah. Use your partner. Yeah, you have your partner yeah. do that one. Which so. I am left hand dominant, and I still thought it was great. Oh, well, there, there we go. go. Wonderful. Well, are we uh, the judges? Have do we need to consult at all? Or are we ready to submit the ballots? <laughs> can I can I just tell you guys my favorite part of this wetsuit? I would yeah. love to hear it. So on the inside, where you can put your name, oh, I know what you're going to say. It's mine too. <laughs> They have like a whole, you know, instruction on how to care for it, right? Like rinse it and don't machine wash it. And then number six on this list of instructions says, yes to setting new personal records and having fun, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Nice. Love so it. nice. I love nice. it. Nice. Although when you have a last well. name like Nicodemus, it's a little tough to fit in like an inch by inch. In the, uh, yeah. Like two by one inch <laughs> and a space for my phone number. You just, yeah. you guys That's are where so you famous just, now. You just need to yeah. put LTB oh, and everybody yeah. knows. Oh, okay. Brooke, you and I are on the same wavelength. You are you just need to elevate yourself to iconic one name. Yeah, like Chip. Identity. Like Elvis, Madonna, Chip. Yeah. Cher and Chip. <laughs> Ronaldo. Yep. People of similar ilk. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay. All right. Now the moment that everyone's been waiting for. We Wait, one thing I got to say, it. which I don't think we have highlighted to to this extent it deserves is that just know this swim run wetsuit does not come with sleeves we talked about sleeves earlier yes. on the podcast that's a great and um i think that was honestly a pretty genius place where they were able to um shave something off of this wetsuit in order to keep the price point so no sleeves come with it but as chipper pointed out if you have any sleeves from other wetsuits, they are easy, easy to use with this one. And I I was thinking about it on my swim run today. I think that a do-it-yourself pair of super budget sleeves is one of the easier hacks. Yeah. Like there's a bunch of wetsuits out there available for super cheap. And all you have to do is cut the arms off. And it doesn't have to be a new wetsuit. It doesn't have to be a pretty wetsuit. It doesn't even have to fit you. And you can just get a pair of sleeves that you can put on your arms. Very yeah. Good go call. on Facebook Marketplace or the Swim Run Swap Meet. Mm. Yeah. Pick up an old triathlon wetsuit for twenty five bucks. <laughs> Take your box cutter to that thing. Yeah. You got some Swim Run uh, sleeves for yourself. There Great you call go. out, Annie. All right, oh, boys. 
pool boy time. Who wants to kick it off? I'll kick it off. Okay. (laughs) Kick it off. Somebody kick it off. So I am going to give this wetsuit a very solid 4.5 pool boys. And I say that for a few reasons. For $200 for this wetsuit, if someone gave me this and they said, you got to do Swim Run Odyssey Austin, you got to do Catalina, I would be happy to do if that was my only choice, I would I would be totally fine doing a a, a long course style race with this wetsuit. I mean, so that's a bold statement. You're I saying know. with all with all the wetsuit uh, for two hundred dollars. If if so, you feel like you could race Catalina or one of these races in I, that I, price suit. point, right? Yeah. For for two for an entry level suit, I think this is is tough. Is really hard to go wrong with. It, can we can we end like can you couple your rating with because you oh, here all we go. have the here we go. Um, <laughs> combo ratings again? <laughs> no, no, you just for comparisons. Sure, you all have the blue seventy. We have the blue right? seventy and alliance. alliance, and then I don't know. Do you guys also have the um, orca core? Chris has <laughs> the core. Yeah, I okay. think I think we have. So, could you couple it with like? Uh, a little bit of a ranking, like would you choose it over your Blue 70 alliance? Yes, yeah. this no. is, I'm saying, the top of the heap in, as in terms of entry-level wetsuits. Okay. So the- Yeah, and if I remember correctly, I I think you guys gave the Blue 70 alliance swim run wetsuit a 3.5 pull buoys. Yeah, yeah. I think you're probably, <laughs> you're probably right no, on that one. True. You might need to start tracking 5. that. <laughs> Yeah, it's on uh, lowtieboys.com. That's, that's very much, you know, swim run lab style. We should have like, uh, yeah. a chart. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the tracker out. Yeah. Get the tracker. So for $200, if someone's just getting into it, you honestly can't go wrong with this thing. Totally. I, I, I'm very impressed. Yeah. And I would say, you know, yeah, can't go wrong with it. It would be cool if it had arm sleeves, but it's not a not a deal breaker at the end of the day. Um this will work for pretty much most swim run conditions. It's a very universal suit. If it's really hot, 70, 75, 80 degree air temp, probably you're going to have some problems with it, but that's going to be any wetsuit that you're running around with in, in, in those temperatures. But Except for the VIG. Except for the VIG, of course. So, <laughs> How to bring in chip, the VIG at some point. 4.5, best entry-level wetsuit, swim run wetsuit to date. Nice. All right. What are your you, thoughts, Brooke? Chris? Oh, <laughs> oh, everyone's right back so at polite. You. Uh, <laughs> sure, I'll go. I give this a four um, for a lot of the reasons that Chipper mentioned. I think that for an entry level suit, this is great. Um, but I will say, hey, if you happen to be shopping for a suit on Black Friday and you can get an, a corp for fifty percent off, like that's a no brainer. I would in, agree uh, with that in, statement in, in 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 my book, just in terms of the tech that's, that's coming on board. But, you know, what I'm really excited about is, so Synergy is also, they're working right now on their sort of elite swim run wetsuit. So given the amount of thought and intention went into making this entry level suit, I'm really curious to see what that's going to look like. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I mean, I think, you know, Synergy, they really, they achieved what they were trying to do, I think for the price point. For everything that's that's that it comes on board, I think I think it's a four for sure. Yeah, I and Chris, how would you um would you wear this over your Blue Seventy Alliance? Oh, if definitely. you were if you were starting out, definitely. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's a little bit thinner. Um, in my in my sense of it, it's a little bit more versatile. Um, for me, just because I run hot, the Blue Seventy has a much more limited application. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And what about the Orca Core? I would I would pick this one over that. Just the Orca Core has it's definitely Gen One. The thighs and hips are super thick mm-hmm. neoprene. Um, this one is definitely superior to that one. I do want to go back and say I feel this suit's really sturdy and mm-hmm. it's not very mm-hmm. fragile. So. Hey, if you get this thing for 200 bucks and in a year or two you want to upgrade, you score a great deal on an ARC suit, this would be a great practice That's suit. That's a really good a point. A really good practice yeah, suit. Yeah, I mean, I don't see the suit having the sort of Orno 2 problems that we've talked about. Yeah, yeah not at all. 
Totally. All right, Swarmer Labs. Your turn. <laughs> Dalemate, Brooke. Okay. Um, I, I think I, I think I am, I, I don't think my review, I don't think people should listen to my review <laughs> with any grain of salt. Well, let's have it, How many pull buoys are you giving yourself right now? <laughs> <laughs> I give Brooke 4.5 pull buoys, but 5.5 <laughs> pull buoy was docked for her getting the wrong size again. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I I didn't enjoy this suit as much as I kind of wanted to. Um, and it was really all based on the size. Like, it's not fun to swim with a bunch of water going through your suit and then yeah. transition with a bunch of water draining out of your suit and then run with, like, a bulky crotch. Um, so I, I, w- I was planning on giving this sweatsuit a 3.5. Um, but... I listening to you guys, I think, yeah, I think I just, it's too big for me. And uh, again, if I tried a small, um, maybe I, I'm not aware of my real height and weight or something. I don't know. Yeah, do you have a scale <laughs> but if I tried house? a small, maybe um, I would like it as much as everybody else did. I do think it as an entry level wetsuit goes, I would choose it over my core because it does have just more, um, technology to it than the core does there's there's definitely been more thought put into the design um and especially with like storage because the core the um work of core storage is laughable but like, totally um, laughable yeah your french fry was that what we said french <laughs> yeah, fry or, or joint joint, <laughs> joint. <laughs> yeah um so yes, I would choose this. If you're starting swim run and you need a wetsuit, this is an awesome suit. If you need it for training, I think this would be a good suit. Um, I personally, if you are me and smack dab in the middle of medium, I personally would maybe size down, but it also depends, you know, there's a lot of variety of body shapes, so that can play into it as well. And this is making me go back to at the beginning of the episode when we realized that the sizing for the women's suit is small through extra large and the sizing for the men's suit is small through XXL, that there are... Um, there are only four size intervals for the women's suit and there are five size intervals mm-hmm. for the men's, which means the mm-hmm. men's suit has a lot of like, finer tuned yeah. each size across a range of typically, t- you know, typical sizes for men. Mm-hmm. Whereas the women's suit, each interval, like a small covers a larger a large range, range of mm-hmm. body sizes. And so that's one, one area that um, Synergy might consider um adding another interval to their sizing range for the women's suit so that we yeah, could have that great. same specificity and not run into these like between size issues. Um, yeah, I, I, I agree with that. It's interesting on their size chart, they do have a 2XL category, but you can't purchase a 2XL. Yeah, I wonder if they're just using the size chart for their regular, because they have a whole line of triathlon suits and all kinds of stuff. So maybe that's, they're just kind of pulling from that. Women's swim run size chart, but it might be, yeah, it might be just their one mm-hmm. size chart. I will say their uh, Synergy's replacement policy is really great. Oh, um, but they did also give this yeah, free. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Like they would totally, which I also, that. you know what, maybe I give them like a half pull buoy for that because, oh no, we shouldn't do that. Sorry. For the return policy? No, for letting us try it. Like I thought it was really awesome. No, as a that's company yeah. To that's like, a, nope. you can't. That can't that's be. Right. No, I know. You can't. It doesn't. But you can well. give them a half pull buoy for the return policy. Yes. Which is a hundred percent satisfaction guaranteed. If for any reason you're not happy with the item, provided it's not used or damaged, please return within thirty days of purchase for a refund. Yeah, pretty nice. good. So there you go, Annie. Annie. I give this wetsuit 4.5 pull buoys. And just to summarize for all the same reasons that Chipper did, it is in like the value that it presents for $200 is incredible. I, I didn't think it would deliver and it totally has it way exceeded that price tag and has exceeded the value I think offered with higher price suits. Um, it has tons of shoulder and hip mobility that, helps you know help you enjoy swims and runs and also hits that sweet spot i think of neoprene thickness where it's not restricting your mobility yet it does provide durability and buoyancy for the swim and just the right amount of warmth where you get you you can benefit from that 
added couple degrees you get on the swim and you don't overheat on the run. I don't know how they hit that sweet spot, but I think it's a great suit. And if this was the suit that I used exclusively for like my first two years racing swim run, I would be such a happy camper. And I think I would still like, if I was in a place where I couldn't use one of my higher end suits or they all had holes in the armpit because they were so fragile, I would hands down be totally fine using this suit to race. I, I would choose it above other wow. other so entry winning. level and mid level suits. But I do need to troubleshoot I need to troubleshoot that chafy spot. That's the that's the only thing. So Annie, let me ask you a question. We're done with the rankings, but I just have a question. Um, what would it take for you to give this suit a five? Like, what do you think oh it's missing? Gosh. That's a good Besides question. Besides arm sleeves. <laughs> I was going to say arm sleeves. Arm sleeves. <laughs> um, That's not a whole half pool buoy, right? No. It's a well, quarter for of. each arm. <laughs> <laughs> no quarter pool buoys. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, good question, Chris. I think... The tailoring of the collar and the and the finickiness of the landing strip for the Velcro and the chafiness, like all of that, I think is a design element that could be improved. Mm -hmm. I think having the same um, fine-tuned sizing intervals for women that mm -hmm. are present in the men's line of the wetsuit would kick it up a notch because I think that could help it just be a better fitting suit for anyone who bought it. Oh God. I would be curious. And I don't know. I mean, we don't know anything about swim run manufacturing, right? But if you, if you made the whole bottom similar to kind of arcs style of wetsuit construction of pretty much it's two different pieces yeah. fused together. Mm -hmm. I'd be curious if they use what's on their, your, your booty down the rear end your, yeah. on the rear. If you made that all the way around, so how much that would affect so the cost. I've been, so I've been bringing up the head, my boost wetsuit. Yeah. So that kind of had, that's what it does. So the okay. back end is that, you know, thinner sort of non, non smooth neoprene, but it comes around on the hips. So your whole kind of like groin area, okay, like a, like, like a brief. A, yeah. It's like a Superman kind of thing. Mm. And, then, and then on the quads you have panels of, of neoprene. For warmth I think and that yeah, that okay. type of neoprene paneling would also would elevate it to five potentially because it would mean that you wouldn't get those rolls that you talked about, Brooke, or mm -hmm. you wouldn't just have that sense of kind of a bunch of stuff in your Openness. groin area. Yeah, and yeah, I think also because it's one whole uh, piece of neoprene on the front from your knees to your neck. That also is not helping with the roll situation. And you don't really get that with arc suits because it's two separate pieces that are melded together, essentially. As with one piece, there's more room for ill-fitting things, if that makes sense. Yeah, totally. Cool. Yeah, well, and I should, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't say I'm comparing it to the head. The head is a $400 wetsuit. Yeah. yeah. Wow, twice so, as much. Okay. Oh, there you go. So I think. Yeah, I'm. I am very... I think my rating is heavily influenced by the value. Like yeah, the same, fact this is $200. I've gone from being pleasantly surprised to kind of blown away actually. And to hand it to Synergy, like they, they really innovated something that is super functional, fits the niche that they were trying to fill and doesn't just carbon copy some of the tech that's out there already. Yeah. Yeah. And covers a lot of bases you know, for, for a wide variety of, of, of types of swim runs and, and needs. Super universal. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, uh, I'm, ha I'm happy with this review. I think it was good. I think, you know, we, we did a good job of putting this in its correct category, not mm -hmm. comparing it to like the VIG or something ridiculous. Right. I think for what it is, they did a great job and, I love that we've had a nice string of really positive reviews. I love that, you know, new, the pool buoy, we gave it a great review and we all thought it was great. I love that we think this is great. And I think that just bodes well for Swim Run Tech. I think there's yeah. enough, there's been enough generations of Swim Run Gear evolution in the, in the 12, 15 years of the sport to where everyone's kind of up their game to where most equipment offered now is is at a pretty good place for on an entry level standpoint. Um, that I think is is not going to be you're not going to get any uh, gotchas on on buying any entry level equipment at least the stuff that that we're uh, yep. putting putting through the lab. 
Yeah. And it's super exciting because it it just re- like the fact that the industry is putting out higher and higher quality gear reflects that there are more and more people doing it's swim worth run. The investment They wouldn't for be that. investing in this yep. if there weren't. Mm-hmm. And that yeah. makes me happy. Totally. Yeah, we're, we're all happy about that. Huge thanks for Synergy, who was kind enough to send us a discount code for our listeners and swim run friends. If you want 25% off this wetsuit plus free shipping, just enter the code SRLABS25, and that's S-R-L-A-B-S 25. So that's, again, 25% off plus free shipping, which is a good chunk of change off this wetsuit. What, what would that be? That's amazing. That's like 150 bucks wetsuit. Yep. Woo-hoo. Annie? We're waiting for some witty sign off. Yeah, can we get some? Let's have a joke. <laughs> Happy dance. <laughs> some deep on thoughts. Sunday. No <laughs> pants. Happy no pants. Happy dance. No pants. Can happy you dance. edit that out, please? No pants. No, it's happening. No, we can't edit it out. <laughs> that, no, no, we have the ending for the show. That's great. That's we're done. All right. All right. Sign off. <laughs> Ciao. Bye. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Gear Talk with the Swim Run Labs. You can learn more about all things Swim Run at swimrunlabs.com. If you have any questions or requests for us to review on the show, send us an email at lowtideboys with a Z at gmail.com. Make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening to this and your other podcast and leave a review if you're so inclined. We'd like to thank Writing Easy Records for our show music and, of course, Annie and Brooke for sharing their wealth of knowledge with us. We'd like to give a huge shout out to our wives for letting us do this sort of stuff. And until next time, be sure to go out there and go for a swim. And then a run. And then another swim. And then a run. You might as well throw another swim on there. And a run. And then just keep going. <laughs> okay. Don't stop. Won't stop. Can't stop. All right. We ready, boys and girls? Yep. Yeah. Hey, do you guys want to do the intro this time? <laughs> oh, I'm, like, I'm like, really? I guess, I thought Not we on command. <laughs> Go, Annie, you're up. Oh, my God, no. Worst nightmare. <laughs> we should try it. We could always delete it. We should try it, Annie, because I think it would just be funny to see what you oh, come man. Up with on this podcast. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's like, welcome to Gear Talk and say your name. Okay. All right, let's I can do it. do it. Ready when you are. <gasps> oh, yeah, we're on. Welcome to Gear Talk. This is Annie.